Today on Knife Banner, we're breaking down every single Leatherman you want to buy. Let's talk multi-tools. How's it going guys and welcome to our Leatherman Buyer's Guide. If you've been looking to buy a Leatherman, you've landed in the right place. We have 21 multi-tools on the table. We're gonna be giving you comparisons, we're gonna be giving you full tool breakdowns, as well as a hands-on review with every single one of them. Now, we're gonna kick it off with what has become wildly one of Leatherman's most popular series just in the last year, year and a half, and that's the Free Series. So we're gonna kick it off with the Leatherman Free P2. Now. One thing that you might have just noticed if you've ever handled a multi-tool, I opened that thing with one hand, and that's exactly the whole purpose of the free series. Um, they come in pliers and they come in knife formations. We'll be looking at some of the knife formations here shortly. And the whole design of these is they're meant to be used with one hand. So whether that's opening the tool, like I showed you here at the very beginning, or whether that is getting to the actual tools in the Leatherman, Everything is one-handed and everything locks as well on the, on the outside. So with Leatherman's, one thing that you're going to see on the table is some of the tools can be inside of the plier body here and some of the tools can be on the outside of the plier body here. But with the Leatherman Free Series, all of the tools are on the outside of the plier body. Now with the Free P2, you get 19 tools. You get a nice uh, deep carry pocket clip, that awesome one-handed easy opening and easy one-handed closing. And you get uh, all of the tools and things that you would expect inside of that. We've got links down in the descriptions if you guys want a full, a full list of what tools are on every single one of these multi-tools on the table. Um, but some of the notable ones, you get a combo blade, uh, which is really nice to have. Um, you get a package opener and you also get some really nice scissors, which is kind of cool to have. So great little multi-tool from Leatherman. And that P2 comes in right around 120 bucks on the website. Check the website for current pricing. Now, going from the P2, going into the P4, this is the big brother of the P2. The P4 comes with 21 tools. So the big tool difference between the P2 and the P4 is you're gonna get a combo blade on the P4 and you're going to get a saw. That's literally the only difference between the two. So the P4 is a little bit bigger. It's got those two extra tools, a combo blade and a saw. Um, the P4 also comes with the pocket clip and both the P2 and the P4 come with a nice nylon sheath, just a nice gray nylon sheath that you can put on your belt. You can you know, throw in a backpack, however you wanna do it. Or again, comes with those sweet pocket clips. Now with the P4, it's all one-handed. It's got all the same stuff. Again, saw, combo blade are the only difference between the P2 and the P4. And that comes in at $140 on the website. Both really amazing um, additions to the Leatherman lineup. We actually have a video just on the P2 and P4 here on our YouTube channel. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. And that'll give you an even more in-depth look into those. Now, with the Free Series, Leatherman has also ventured a little bit into more of the knife world and not just kind of the multi-tool world. So with that, we get the Leatherman Free K2. And with the Leatherman Free K2, obviously this is a lot more knife than multi-tool. Um, so you just get a nice, easy opening blade that locks. So you have, it's a nice locking blade that's one-handed operational. Um, you get a nice deep carry pocket clip, aluminum chassis. And then just like you saw with the P2 and the P4, with the K2, you get seven multi-tools in there and they're all accessible one-handed um, right out the gate. They open right up and lock in place. So kind of a neat addition if you want something that is a lot more knife and just a little bit of tool, the K2 could be right up your alley. And that K2 goes for $80 on the website. So moving on from the K2, you jump into the T4. Now the T4 is a really neat amalgamation of both a multi-tool and a knife. So primarily right out of the gate, this is very much kind of centered to be a knife. And think of like an in-pocket, kind of your, your Swiss Army knife. Um, that's where the T4 is really hitting its sweet spot. Um, but along with that locking blade and that easy knife to get, you have 12 tools in total on this little package 
that also are one hand accessible and that also lock in place. So pretty sweet offering from Leatherman with the T4. If you're looking for something that you can just throw in a pocket, throw in a backpack, kind of forget about but have when you need it, the T4 is a really great option with 12 tools built into that very small chassis. And then you also get the deep carry pocket clip. So if you did want to carry this as a pocket knife or pocket tool, um, completely doable. That T4 goes for $60 on the website. Now, Leatherman has played in the one-handed uh, multi-tool game for a long time, actually, and that started with the OHT. So the OHT literally stands for one-handed tool, and the OHT has 16 tools, and they're all one-handed. And this was one of this was a first in the industry. All of the tools are on the outside um, of the handles, and as you can see, you can access them very easily right there on the outside of the tool. They're all locking and you can get to them really easily. Now, the cool thing with the OHT, the way the pliers come out is a lot different than the Free Series. So the Free Series kind of folds out, but with the OHT, it actually flicks out. So you just flick those out and then you've got a pair of spring-loaded pliers. Now, you'll notice with Leatherman, there are gonna be pliers that are spring-loaded and there are gonna be pliers that are not spring-loaded. And we'll make sure to call out which ones are and which ones aren't because that can be a make or break for a tool depending on what your purposes are. So a nice spring-loaded plier with the OHT. And then um, I kind of opened it slowly there so you guys could see it clearly, but you can just flick that thing right out and then you have your pliers. Um, and this also comes with a really nice nylon case. The OHT is definitely purpose-built, maybe a little bit more for the person that is looking for a preparedness tool or for a professional that might be working in law enforcement or a first responder or something like that. Um, it's got like, you know, strap cutters, seat belt cutters. It's got uh, an oxygen tank wrench. It has a cleaning rod brush adapter if you're field servicing a rifle. Um, so definitely a little more of a purpose-built tool um, leaning towards maybe military or law enforcement, but still a great tool for anybody in the, on the daily for a spring-loaded one-handed plier that you can get to all of your tools very easily. Um, OHT is a great addition to that Leatherman lineup and it's only 80 bucks. So for 80 bucks, you're getting a lot of tool um, for not a lot of money. Now, uh, we've kind of looked at some of the traditional sized Leathermans. I think when a lot of people think Leatherman, they probably think, you know, like a pair of folding pliers with some tools on it. And these next two editions that we have are very much folding tools with some other tools on it. But with these, you get a really cool compact carry that's really, really utilitarian. So this is the Leatherman Squirt. The Leatherman Squirt has nine tools on it. And I think what is probably the most impressive part about the Squirt is that it actually has pliers. So it has pliers, it has cutters, and it's spring-loaded. So right out of the gate, I think that the Squirt is an amazing addition to any keychain for this reason and this reason alone. On top of that, you get nine more tools, you get a knife blade, some driver bits and stuff like that, and all of the tools are on the outside of the pliers. So you can throw this on your keychain, and let's say that you need a knife blade. Well, boom, you got a knife blade no problem without having to open up these pliers on your keychain. So a really handy tool, really useful. Now what you saw on all these free series that we looked at previously was that the blades and the tools were locking. Um, obviously on this little squirt, not locking. So this is a slip jointed blade, which means there's no lock. So it just opens up and then it can close right up really easily as well. Um, but a really neat addition goes on the keychain really well, or you know, on a zipper pull or whatever. These things come in really, really handy. I know a lot of people in the knife community carry these and and love them. And that goes for forty dollars on the website. So it's a lot of tool for not a lot of money. Now, right in the exact same line as that last one is the Leatherman Micra. Now, the Micra is very similar uh, to the Squirt, but the only difference is that it's a scissor. So instead of having a plier, it's a scissor. Um, this has 10 tools, which is kind of neat, and spring-loaded, folds out. Um, now another big difference between the Squirt and the Micra is that the tools are not on the outside of the tool. So you do have to open up the scissors to access any of the tools on the inside that you would want to use. And again, with this, you get a knife blade, you get some screwdriver bits, uh, you get a nail cleaner, you get a bottle opener, you get tweezers. This is definitely much more of kind of just like an everyday office carry type thing where you might find yourself needing some scissors, you might find yourself you know, needing a nail cleaner or something like that, or just a little utility blade. Um, so the Leatherman Micra goes for $30 on the website. So a little bit of a price difference between the two. You can see here size-wise, 
Um, both very similar in size, but the squirt comes in just maybe a little bit smaller. And again, with the squirt having all of those tools on the outside, I would say if you're looking for a nice little utility uh, tool to put on some keychains or something like that, and you don't absolutely need those big old scissors, the squirt is probably the way to go. Now, moving out of kind of these neat little utility pieces that you can kind of put anywhere and jumping into what really is the meat and potatoes, the bread and butter of the Leatherman line, we're gonna look at the Leatherman Wave. Now, the Leatherman Wave is an incredible tool. Uh, this is Leatherman's number one seller of all time for a reason. Um, it's kind of the perfect iteration of the original tool that Tim Leatherman designed back in the 70s and 80s. I mean, perfect's a big word, but what I mean by that is it's robust, it's well built, um, it has some tool access on the outside, so the stuff that you would wanna get to most immediately has locking tools on the outside, and then stuff that you probably wouldn't need as often um, are inside of the handles, but also locking. Has re the Wave Plus, which is what I have here, has replaceable cutters, just an incredible tool all the way around. Um, if you were to buy only one Leatherman, the Leatherman Wave would be the one to get. It comes with 17 tools in all. One of the neat things that you see on a handful of Leathermans, but not all of them, is it actually comes with this uh, replaceable bit that has like an eyeglass or a small screwdriver to it. So this is something that even guys in the tech world will carry um, because they can trade in and out bits for you know small screws and things of that nature. Um, but the Leatherman Wave, Again, is a great knife. If you're gonna only get one Leatherman on the table, the Leatherman Wave, you could go with the Leatherman Wave and you would never regret it. It also comes with just a nice black nylon sheath. A lot of the Leathermans that we're gonna look at now will come with kind of the nice black nylon sheath. Um, and it goes for $99 on the website. So for a hundred bucks, you can pick up a Leatherman Wave Plus and it's just an incredible deal. Now, moving up in tools and moving up in uh, price a little bit as well, kind of the, the middle brother in the family that the wave falls in is the Leatherman Charge. Now, what I have here is the Leatherman Charge TT. And the reason that I grabbed this one is this is actually the most popular Leatherman Charge tool. So the Leatherman Charge has either 19 tools or 18 tools, depending on the model. Um, this particular one is a titanium version. And for all you knife nuts out there, it has an S30V blade. So almost every single knife you're gonna see on the table, every single multi-tool you're gonna see on the table, the blade is gonna be a 420 HC blade, which is a nice serviceable blade. Um, but if you're looking for something in the, kind of that premium steel, if you're looking for something that you don't have to sharpen as often, the Leatherman Charge TT is sweet. It comes with that S30V blade. Again, locking, you have a handful of tools on the outside that you can access. And then that does of course open up and then there's tools on the inside as well. As far as the tools go on the charge, very, very similar to the Wave, and then depending on what model you get, we'll, we'll vary those tools just slightly. The charge also comes with the eyeglass screwdriver, which is kind of an interesting addition to it. And being in titanium, it does come in just a little bit lighter um, than the other tools in this category. Now, like I said, this charge is the kind of the fancy baller version of the charge. So this particular one goes for $170 on the website, but you can pick up a normal charge for about 140 bucks on the website. Um, moving on from the charge and kind of the, the big brother of this family of Leatherman that we're looking at is the Leatherman Surge. And when I say big brother, I mean exactly that. When I pull the wave out and the surge out, you can see there is a considerable size difference between the wave and the surge. There's a considerable weight difference. Um, and the same goes for the charge as well. So the surge comes in much bigger than the charge does. Um, but I will say this, um, like I said, if you bought one Leatherman on the table and you bought the wave, I don't think you'd have any regrets with that unless you had some sort of special needs. And we are gonna dive into some very special utility-based um, Leatherman here in just a minute. But if you work construction or you are a um, maintenance man or you work in that type of profession, get the Surge. I worked construction for a lot of years and the Surge has been in my carpenter bags all of those years. It is a great knife, a couple of uh, tools on the outside that you can access easily. And then you open this thing up and this is just a full sized pair of pliers that you can use. It's not sprung. It would be nice if it was sprung, um, but 
full set of tools that you can use here. And everything inside of the Surge is just a little beefier. It's just a little bit more ready for work. All the tools, all the prize, all the bits, everything you get is just a little bit beefier with the Surge. Really, really great knife from Leatherman. It has 21 tools. When you compare between the Wave and the Surge, the Wave has scissors, but they're a little bit smaller. The Surge, the scissors are huge and really, really usable, and they are on the outside. I found myself often in construction grabbing these scissors and pulling them out to cut whatever varied thing I needed to cut with scissors. Um, another advantage to the Surge is that it has the exchangeable blade. So this obviously has a saw blade on it, but this is completely exchangeable and you can put different blades in that exchange of blade there. Another thing that sets the Surge apart from the Wave is that it has electrical crimpers built into the pliers up here. The Surge is an incredible tool. Um, if you find yourself in situations where you just need a tool you can beat to death, the trades or the construction professions or maintenance professions, the Leatherman Surge is a easy choice. Um, and it goes for 130 bucks. Now, we looked at a handful of knives here that have replaceable bits. So I'll use the Surge here to show you what I'm talking about. So both the Wave, the Charge, and the Surge have these replaceable bits in them. So you can, it comes with a combo bit that is um, Phillips and standard. And then the charge also comes with a bit set, but if your knife doesn't come with a bit set, you can actually buy this bit set separately. So any of the knives that you see on the table that have replaceable bits, um, you can buy this bit set from Leatherman. And this is a, this is 21 bits for $24. You've got Torx heads, you've got Allen heads, you've got um, different sized standards and Phillips. So a really great set that you can have, you can attach it to your sheath that comes with the knife or you can carry it separately in a backpack or a work bag or whatever it may be. So kind of a neat little thing that you can get from Leatherman. Um, now, what we just looked at, uh, you know, $100 range, $140 range, you know, a little bit more spendy. So if you're looking for a Leatherman that still is a good bang for your buck, but maybe a little bit more on the budget end of things, these next two Leathermen are the ones that you're looking for. So we have the Leatherman Sidekick and we have the Leatherman Wingman. Now, the Leatherman Sidekick and Wingman, which is kind of cool, are both sprung pliers. So it's also really, really nice. With the more heavy duty wave and surge and charge, you don't get a sprung plier. Um, but with the sidekick and the wingman, you do get the sprung plier, which is really nice. You have a handful of tools on the inside of this sidekick here. It comes with 15 tools total. And then on the outside, you do have access to other tools as well. So with this one on the outside, you have a locking standard knife blade. And then you also have uh, a locking saw as well. Now between the sidekick and the wingman, the sidekick is geared a little bit more to kind of outdoor use and stuff. The sidekick comes with a combo blade and the saw, and it goes for $60. And again, that's with 15 tools, so pretty sweet. And you get a nice pocket clip with that as well. Now with the wingman, and I'll actually give you guys a quick size comparison as well. If you're just looking at them this way, basically indistinguishable. Um, the price is the same, the weight is the same. The only difference is that the Sidekick has 15 tools and the Wingman has 14 tools. Now, with the Wingman, you're going to get scissors inside and you're going to get a package opener and you're gonna get a combo blade. With the Sidekick, you're gonna get the saw and you're gonna get the extra cutting blade. And then like I said, with the Wingman and the Sidekick, you get those nice sprung pliers, which is a, a nice, feature that you don't get with every Leatherman. And it's one that honestly can make or break your decision to want to get a Leatherman or not. So nice spring pliers with this. And then just like the sidekick, you've got the pocket clip on the outside, um, 14 tools here. And then again, you get scissors, a package opener, and a combo blade with the wingman. And that kind of is what differentiates the sidekick and the wingman. Both really great tools. Again, throw in a backpack, throw in your pocket. Um, they don't break the bank at 60 bucks and get those sprung pliers. And the sprung pliers really are kind of special when it comes to the Leatherman lineup. It's something that often when I'm talking to people about Leatherman, they wish they would apply just to the entire line. Um, so next up, we're gonna jump into kind of some specialty tools. So the first specialty tool that we're gonna look at from Leatherman is the Leatherman Skeletool. Now the Skeletool is a tried and true classic. Um, you get obviously the full pliers, you get kind of this cool carabiner. This also doubles as a bottle opener that you can attach it to anything really. 
But one thing that I really love about the Scala tool is the driver on it. So whether you set up your handle in this configuration or whether you set up your handle in this configuration or whether you wanted to use it this way, um, this driver is really nice because it essentially works as a full size driver that you can use like a full size screwdriver. The Scala tool is a very, very useful tool. Um, and then on the outside, you will find a couple of tools. The Scala tool has seven tools in total, including a nice cutting blade as well. Um, and that is locking, which is really sweet. Another feature of the Scala tool that I personally, well, I like to see applied across a bunch of Leathermans, but I'm only aware of it on two of the Leathermans um, that they currently make at least, is so with your bit driver here, this has um, two size of Phillips heads. So you get a number two and a number one Phillips head. So that's really nice, but obviously you probably want a standard as well. And in the scales right here of the tool, it's actually a recessed standard combo bit. So it's built right into the scales. And I wish that Leatherman would apply that to more of their tools because it is so handy to be able to have different sized um, bits or different sized tools that just fit into the scale of your multi-tool. And then if you were to buy the um, bit kit, you could put any one of these bits in the driver of this and you could put any one of these bits in the uh, holding place where that standard one lives. So kind of a neat deal. Um, the Scala tool is really, really handy. At only seven tools, it still has quite a lot to offer anybody who wants just a nice, simpy, simple multi-tool that is also a really easy to use driver and a really use, easy to use blade as well. Um, and the Scala tool goes for $79.95 on the website. Um, now next up, this tool ha can be TSA safe. So always check your local laws, always check what TSA's current regulations are. Um, but this particular tool is called the Style PS. It has, um, it's sprung, like we saw with our other smaller tools on um, earlier. But the nice thing about this is that it also has the carabiner and it doesn't have a knife blade on it. So it has six tools with the spring action pliers. It has scissors, a nail file, a mini screwdriver, tweezers, and then the carabiner bottle opener. Um, so that's why I say it probably will be TSA safe. Again, don't fly with it until you've checked what TSA will or won't allow at the time of watching this video. Um, but a nice sprung plier, no knife blade. But I will say with the, um, what you do get with the style is pretty cool, is that you get the scissors on the outside the very same way that you would get a knife blade on the outside. And scissors can double pretty easily, pretty usefully for a knife blade in a lot of instances. Um, so kind of a nice knife, nice knife, uh, or nice multi-tool. Um, even if you have restrictions in the place that you work, it could be a nice multi-tool to be able to carry and not have to worry about having a live blade on it if that's a consideration you have to make in your life. Now, the Leatherman style also comes in a CS configuration. Um, and that is, instead of having pliers, it actually has big scissors here, and then it has a knife blade. That's the big difference between the CS and the PS. For my money, I think I would always go for the pliers. Um, that's because I don't find myself needing scissors really consistently. Um, and if I'm gonna have to trade out a knife blade for scissors, I would rather have the pliers for the tool. But also really nice that it's sprung. Again, that sprung thing is a really nice addition to any of the Leatherman tools. And that goes for $35 on the website. So a nice, affordable way to add a little bit of utility to your everyday carry. Um, the Leatherman Signal Cobalt is the next one that we have up. Now, the Signal is uh, a really neat, very purpose-built addition to the Leatherman lineup. It has 19 tools, and this one in particular has a ton of utility built in, and it's definitely built for exploration. It's built for like outdoor, backpacking, right, getting out in the bush, that type of thing. And I think when we think pliers or when we think Leatherman, we may not think backpacking, um, but there is a lot of utility built into this thing that really is designed for that. So right out of the gate, um, you have the bottle opener, you have the carabiner. Um, so the carabiner you can attach to any bag really easily. Obviously you have your pliers, non-sprung. This particular one has replaceable cutters, which is a really nice thing if you find yourself using the cutters often. You have a couple built-in normal tools that you see. Um, but some of the unique things about this knife is, or this multi-tool is that it has a hammer built into the butt of it, which is really interesting. So you can hold that and use that as a hammer. Um, the other cool thing that has built in, it has a, um, this is a ferro rod here. So for striking uh, for a fire, which is really neat. 
Um, like I said, a little more purpose built for the outdoors. This here is actually a sharpener. So it's got a, a sharpener on the outside here for if you're needing to carry another knife or anything like that. And that actually comes off. Um, so if you have another knife in the, in the field or you got a bigger knife, a smaller knife, whatever, you can use this to sharpen or you can use it to sharpen <laughs> your, your Leatherman as well, which is kind of neat. Um, let's get that back on real quick. And then another neat thing that this one has, kind of purpose built, is inside, um, you can actually pull the ferrule rod off so you can actually use it to strike easier. Um, and then there's a built-in whistle. I won't blow it too loud because it's really high pitched, uh, but there's a built-in whistle on that as well. So the signal is a really neat tool if you're looking for something that you need a little more utility in a backpacking carry, or you need a little more utility in outdoor carry, or even if you just find yourself out in the bush often, this could be a really cool tool to throw into a glove compartment, throw into a go bag, whatever it may be, because there's a lot of utility built into a very small package. And again, 19 tools on this, so a lot of tools to get the job done. Um, and it has a saw blade, again, very outdoor purpose built. And that goes for 120 bucks on the website. Now, we're gonna look at what is probably the most purpose built tool that Leatherman makes. Um, most of the tools that we have on the table, even including that signal, like you don't even have to use it outdoors if you want. I mean, it's got drivers, it's got a bottle opener, it's got a can opener, right? Like it's got things that you probably find yourself using often anyways, along with the pliers. But this next tool, this is the Leatherman Mutt. This tool is very much purpose built for um, either if you're really into uh, shooting sports or if you're working in the military or something of that nature, this is the tool for you, straight up. Um, it has 18 tools. It's, speci it's literally specialized to service a rifle in the field. So it has punches, it has um, uh, different bits and drivers and things of that nature that are specifically designed for servicing a rifle, specifically an AR rifle in the field. Obviously it comes with a nice heavy duty set of pliers. It comes with a strap cutter as well. The back end has a hammer. I mean, just a ton of utility in the mutt, but definitely very, very purpose built um, to service your rifle in the field. So again, whether you're really into shooting sports or whether you're serving in the military, the Leatherman Mutt could be an amazing companion for any of those things. It comes with a very heavy duty pocket clip that could be attached to a vest, could be attached to a backpack or carried in your pocket. It's a little bit heavy for carrying in the pocket. Personally, I don't think I'd like that, but if that's an option that you want, you can. Um, and then similar to the Skeletool, tool, a really handy driver on the back end here that re has a replaceable bits. And then also similar to the Skeletool, tool, and again, a feature that I would love to see Leatherman uh, include in all of their lineup, is you got this little button here and you press that and then there are built-in there are built-in bits and drivers in the scales in the handles of the multi-tool and i this is such a dang cool feature like i said i wish they would do it to the surge and the wave and the free series and all the other ones that are kind of the most popular ones because it's such a useful thing now with a multi-tool like this, obviously you're gonna have a lot of bits that you're going to need to break down and service a firearm in the field. And so that's really what, why they've built in the utility, but man, it would be nice for the rest of us to also have that utility on, on a daily basis. Now, out of everything on the table, like I said, you could carry any of these daily and they'd be a great companion. Even the Mutt would be a pretty good companion on the daily, but definitely the Mutt is very focused and spe specified for what it's built for. Uh, again, that's 18 tools on the Mutt goes for $160 on the website. Now last up in kind of the very special multi-tool setup is a multi-tool that's not quite a multi-tool. And it's a multi-tool that uh, has caused some division, I know, with, with some people, kind of mixed feelings on it. So obviously this is a, a bracelet. It's not sized for my wrist, but I'll just kind of show you. Here, we'll open her up. So, right, this is a bracelet that you can wear and then I'll show you some of the utility of it. So um, just like that, obviously not sized to my particular wrist, these bits are removable, so you can take them off and uh, make it fit your wrist. Um, but the really cool thing with this is that every single one of these links is a tool or two or three. Um, so for example, you can see here, you've got like an Allen driver on this side and an Allen driver on this side of a different size. On this side right here, you have a Phillips head screwdriver and on this side right here, you have a standard head screwdriver. In all, this particular tool has 29 individual tools on it, which is kind of neat. Uh, some, some kind of exceptional things on this that you might not find on every single tool out there. 
This has a built-in SIM tool. So this little poker right here is for poking into your uh, SIM card holder on your phone. So you can pop a SIM out and change out your SIM. Um, the other neat thing is that it has a strap cutter and it has a glass breaker. Um, so kind of neat, unique things you wouldn't expect to find on like a bracelet tool. I would say the most unique thing about the uh, Leatherman Tread is, where is it? There it is, <laughs> that's the clasp. Um, it has a quarter inch driver on it as well. So if you wanted to be able to have uh, some quarter inch, you could have an extension, a quarter inch extension with some quarter inch sockets or a quarter inch set of sockets here. You could also have use this as like a quarter inch driver for different projects as well. The Leatherman Tread is such an interesting tool. Again, 29 tools in this, this little bracelet, con bracelet configuration. And the way that you would use them is say I wanna use the screwdriver, so I'd get the screwdriver tip out, and then you would just hold the bracelet, right, and screw this way. Um, the reason that I said it's been a, kind of a, a dividing tool in the EDC community is I, I think that there's people that don't like the way it looks. <laughs> I think there are people that are worried about um, the utility of it. And I have to say that I have read a lot of reviews from people that have actually used these and they actually like the way that they work. I personally haven't had a chance to use the tread, but maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll throw this one in the knife library and we'll start using it around the office and, and give more of a full review. But kind of a neat tool from Leatherman, a lot of utility built into it, should be TSA safe. Again, always check the current laws. And that goes for $150 on the website. So 29 tools, very unique configuration, a little bit more of a steeper price tag um, because you're not getting pliers like you do with regular Leatherman, but it is a tool that fits in and can kind of go anywhere, which is really neat. All right, jumping out of our specialty built tools, we're gonna jump into some heritage tools from Leatherman. Now, what we've seen on the table is a lot of knives, and a, or a lot of knives and a lot of multi-tools that have some tools on the outside, some tools on the inside, all tools on the outside. And what we're gonna see with the Heritage Series is all of these, the tools are on the inside of the tools. These are the OG original things uh, that Tim Leatherman and company produced in the first, you know, however many years of business. And right out of the gate, we're gonna start with the, this is the Heritage Collector PST. The PST, this is Tim Leatherman's first design. Now, if you don't know the story of Leatherman, Tim Leatherman um, and his wife, they went on a vacation to Europe. They were backpacking around Europe. They ended up buying a little car. And when they bought that car, he had some of the multi-tools of the time, you know, your Swiss armies and whatnot. And he found that he really wanted a multi-tool that had a bunch of tools built in, but he really needed pliers. Often he was finding that he needed pliers. So he came home, worked a few years, sketched some stuff, built up some models, and he came up with the PST. He pitched the PST to every single knife company you could imagine. I think he actually has a bunch of the rejection letters still. And everybody was like, it's a kooky idea. Nobody wants to see this, nobody cares. And uh, he knew he had a good idea. So he grabbed himself by the bootstraps <laughs> and built a company out of it. And uh, now we're sitting here with 21 tools on the table and what is definitely the leader in the multi-tool market. And uh, all started with this little PST right here. So this is the Heritage PST. This is the OG, 14 tools, everything you need, nothing you don't. Um, very simple, none of it is locking and uh, folds up to a nice compact size and comes with uh, what was the original sheath back then, just a nice leather sheath with that kind of gold embossing there and nice brass button. So a uh, neat piece of history. Your grandpa may have carried one, your dad may have carried one. And the cool thing about it is while you have all of this, what, what really at the end of the day is a little more convenient, a little more utility built into these newer tools, the PST still stands. Like if you just need a really simple, nice little multi-tool, PST will cover everything that you need done. Um, and that goes for $150 on the website. Now, next up is a multi-tool that really intrigues me as a man that's done a lot in construction, that does a lot with uh, motorcycles and cars. This is the Leatherman Crunch. Now, the Leatherman Crunch has 15 tools, and you might be noticing it's kind of weird looking. That's because this is kind of a weird multi-tool. So, the cool thing about this is that it is a set of locking pliers. So, this is a pretty big departure from everything else in Leatherman's line. Um, but what you get is a nice full set of actually adjustable locking pliers. It's a really, really neat tool. This is a tool that really, really intrigues me. Um, I'll be honest, uh, pulling it out of the box, it felt a little clunky at first, kind of just figuring out how it goes together. But once you get the hang of it, 
it's a really, really sweet tool. Um, and then like all of the classic Leathermans, all of the tools are gonna be on the inside of the crunch. So you'll have all of your tools on the inside and then you can configure your handle for your locking pliers. So I don't know, it's kind of a neat deal from Leatherman. I think I'm gonna have to pick one of these up because I've never used one and I like the idea of it. Um, and this goes for $110 on the website. Now, one thing about the crunch with all the kind of interesting ins and outs of it. So the adjuster here screws out and then you'll see here you have a hex bit driver. I think that's kind of a really neat addition. Um, definitely a little bit of work to have to pull this out and then you have to keep track of this end because really at the end of the day, the crunch is not gonna be useful if you don't have that screw in piece. But kind of a neat piece, um, not the most convenient way to get to it. Uh, kind of a neat addition though to the crunch to have that big old hex bit driver. And again, that goes for $110 on the website. All right, next up in kind of our heritage lineup of knives, um, we could call this very similar to the Wave. And this is the rebar. Now, you can see the Wave that we talked about earlier in size, very similar. You have 17 tools with the rebar, very similar to the Wave. Um, this is just kind of the heritage version of the Wave. So the really neat thing with this one um, that you don't get with like the PST and the Crunch is that they are locking. So you pull that knife blade out or whatever blade out and it will lock into place. Um, but with rebar, just kind of a nice, simple Leatherman. You got the replaceable cutters on there if that's something that you need. Um, it goes for 70 bucks on the website. So cool little addition to that Heritage Series. And for a long time, the rebar was uh, a, a big seller for Leatherman. But again, with that wave, just a little more utility, just a little more efficiency, and but also more in price. So something to consider when you're looking at it. Um, and then finally, for all of the tools that we have on the table, this is the Super Tool 300. Now, if the uh, rebar is like the Wave, the Super Tool is like the Surge. And you can see very similar in sizes here. But I will say with the Super Tool, this thing is a beast. So I mentioned with the Surge how the tools in it are really thick, um, but the tools in the Super Tool are like, super thick. <laughs> so just really thick stock tools. Um, a, you, can, you can have total confidence in using this thing. I mean, huge knife blade, pull these out. You can just see how thick and how big these tools are. And especially in comparison to anything else on the table, the super tool is probably the most overbuilt tool on the table. Um, now all the tools are on the inside of the super tool, so that's something to consider when purchasing it. All the tools do lock though, which is also really nice. And that super tool goes for $90. So if you're looking at the surge and you're like, I really just don't, I, I can't jump into that like plus $100 range. I can't, that $130 is a little much. You're, this With the super tool, you're getting a ton of the same practicality. You're getting a ton of the same usage and you're getting it for 90 bucks. So kind of a cool budget option there. And that's what you get with a lot of the Heritage Series is you get a lot of tool in a very budget price range. Whew, 21 multi-tools, guys. So that's 21 Leathermans that we just went through. This is practically every single multi-tool on Leatherman's lineup. We hope that it's been helpful. We love doing these buyer's guides and to kind of give you guys a concise breakdown of each of the tools. Let us know if you are looking to buy which tool you decided to go with. If you do carry Leatherman, I'd love to hear your Leatherman stories personally. I'll go through the comments because I'm a big Leatherman fan. Like I said, I carry a Surge um, whenever I'm working in the trades. And I think that's all we got. So we'll catch you on the next one. Whoa, you made it to the end screen. Well, if you're interested in a Leatherman, make sure to uh, hit the link over there. bladehq.com has got everything you need. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content. And we got a sweet playlist down below.